Hi guys, uh, many of you have asked me about the difference between System and WordPress and how things are uh, laid up now with the Tao training. Okay, so I'm going to explain to you what the difference is between System, um, Thrive Themes, uh, WordPress, uh, GetResponse and uh, SiteGround. Okay, uh, and I'll, I want to explain to you why I made a switch over so that now uh, all my training inside Tao from now on is going to be with System. Now I'll, I'll, exp I'll explain to you why uh, so you understand exactly why that is. Also, I want to share with you what you can do if you are currently using WordPress and um, how you can migrate, migrate over if you want to and uh, how that process works, okay? So, first of all, guys, the main difference is this. System is one platform, okay? And System does your hosting, it does your autoresponder, it does your funnel builder, it does your blog platform, it does your video hosting, it does your image hosting, and um, which means that it replaces everything, really. And uh, it does everything there securely, simply, and fast, okay? And that's the main thing. It's got great speed as well. And so uh, basically here, system, you can see if you go inside the features here, you can see all the features here, what they do and so on. Okay. And the main thing that system does really, really well is the value for money. If you go to the pricing here, uh, if you go to the annual plan, for example, here, you can see that uh, the, the startup or the webinar, probably the webinar is probably the best one to go for. The, the, the unlimited is not needed. That's too much um, because you don't, you don't need that many. Uh, but the webinar one or, or the startup one is great. And you can see here that with, with that, you get everything you need. Okay, so for $220, okay, so just call it $27, for $27, you get everything you need, okay? And that, I think that's the main thing. So you literally save thousands of dollars, okay? Whereas with WordPress, uh, you have to have five themes or Elementor or Optimized Press or something. You have to have an auto autoresponder. I use GetResponse. Uh, you, you might be using something else. And also you need hosting, and I use uh, SiteGround. And I'll explain to you the pricing here so you understand why uh, people get caught out. Now, with SiteGround, uh, HostGator, Hostinger, you know, whatever, A2, it doesn't matter. Every hosting provider operates on the same principle. They give you a really, really cheap rate for the first year. And then, boom, here. You only get for the first year. And then afterwards, the normal rates apply. So after one year, we have, you have the option to move to a new hosting and take advantage of their uh, first year rate. But if you go for the normal plan here, which is the grow big, that's the, that's the one most people go for. Um, it means that you're paying 30 bucks a month. And then you're paying uh, to use the uh, get response here for the, the automations and so on, uh, which is what you need. Uh, that's another 60 bucks a month. Okay, so suddenly you're paying 90 bucks a month. Then you have uh, Thrive. Now, again, uh, the one reasons why I've um, decided to make the move here is because over the last couple of years, uh, the price has gone up. The price of uh, Get Response went up. The price of Thrive doubled. Okay, so here, if I click on here and go to uh, click on Get here, you can see that the first year is 500 bucks. And f honestly, guys, 500 bucks for all these tools is a bargain. It's a, it's a very good deal. I've used Thrive for what? seven years now uh, since 2018 i think right and uh, i i i love thrive uh, but uh, they had new owners take over and they, they effectively doubled the price okay so now you can see here that yes you get the first year for 500 bucks but then here boom the renewal all plans automatically renew to the regular price so that means it's 800 bucks a year so suddenly you go, oh crap, okay, so that's, that's what, 60 bucks a year, then it's like 60 bucks a year, and then it's 30 bucks a month, or sorry, uh, 60 bucks a month, 30 bucks a month, and that doesn't include any AI tools, it doesn't include uh, any Q research tools, it doesn't include any SEO plugins, it doesn't include anything else. So suddenly, realistically, you're up into the sort of 200 bucks a month plus range. Now again, guys, you know, you, you, you'll hear me say before where... In the grand scheme of things, 200 bucks a month is not a lot, okay? When you, when you consider what you're actually getting, right? All those tools, all those things, it's fantastic. But I have to listen to my audience. And most of my audience find it too much because in the beginning, when you're brand spanking new, you have no idea what anything is. SEO is confusing, YouTube is confusing, uh, page builders are confusing, everything's confusing. And then suddenly to pay 150, 200 bucks a month every month, come the third month, most people just go, oh, you know what, Philip, this is too much. I can't do this anymore. Because uh, their 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 focus is on how much money they're spending instead of what they're learning, and that means that in the beginning with WordPress it's overwhelming. There's so many tools, so many features, so many plugins, and so on. And if if you look at just uh, one of these here, like here for example, if you look at all these things here, you go, oh, okay, oh my god, all these things. I don't, what are these things? I don't know. And you come here and you look at all these things here and you think, okay, so I'm getting 
this plugin, that plugin, this plugin, this plugin, this plugin, this plugin, this plugin, that one here, this one here, and you look at every one of these here, each each of them have like sort of 25 different features and options and hundreds of tick boxes, and so it means that my audience are getting confused. And confusion equals overwhelm. Overwhelm equals confusion. Confusion equals procrastination, and they stop. Okay, um, and also you have just the practical issues of uh, compatibility issues, bugs, errors creeping in, and so on and so forth. And also uh, security issues because when you have lots of different plugins, and uh, invariably uh, all my students end up installing random plugins I've never heard of, and that that poses a security threat. So all these here, and the last thing here, <laughs> this one here was a, it was a, a bit of a a pet peeve of mine. You have to have one login for SiteGround, one login for your WordPress, one login for your Git response, one login for uh, for your what's it here for Thrive. You have one login for uh, AI tools, one login for your your uh, keyboard tool, one login for this, and suddenly you have like sort of six, seven, eight, nine logins. Whereas with Stem, it's one. It's all on one platform. So in essence, guys, the reason why I have this here is because for, for the simplicity, so that my audience who come in. They have a dashboard that is as simple to use. There are fewer options. Fewer options mean less confusion. And at the end of the day, guys, uh, most of the plugins you have for your, for example, WordPress blog, most of them have features that you don't need. They're only there because they make the tool seem more advanced. Okay. For example, the classic one is the inside the all-in-one SEO tool is the uh, the title analyzer, uh, where you get that little score. Okay. So if I go inside here and show you the, the score here, okay, over here, just one second, right, this one here, this score is meaningless, it means nothing, this is the, a padded on tool they've added on here to make it seem more valuable, okay, so this here is an arbitrary figure, it means nothing, yet what happens is this, overwhelm. Because beginners come here and go, oh, but, oh my god, I only got 63 per scores. That means Google's not going to rank me. It's like, no, th this doesn't speak to Google. It's not connected to Google, right? And despite what I try and say in terms of helping my audience overcome these problems, they can't because there are too many buttons, too many features, and so on. Okay, And so it means that all these kind of things here, uh, these, uh, yeah, they help. But the thing is, every tool has this. If you're using Grammarly, it has this already. And it uh, means that this kind of thing here confuses people and it means that they, they stop in their tracks when uh, most beginners hitting publish means more than anything else. Okay. Um, and so that's what I mean by having all these extra tools and so on. You don't need a tool to do, to add meta descriptions. System does that for you. Post title, same thing. Okay. You don't need a tool to tell you here, focus keywords. Again, here, if I add a keyword here, okay. Um, it doesn't do anything. This doesn't connect to Google. It just gives you this nonsense here, which again, if you follow my SEO tricks and so on, my SEO guidelines inside of the Tao, you've already covered this here. Yet people become so focused on this here, they think, oh, yeah, but I've only got 79 points. I need 100 points. And they think, that, they think that makes a difference. Like, nope, it doesn't. Okay. So understand, guys, that most of these kind of things here, prompts they have, are arbitrary random things that you cover anyway by doing the basics of SEO for inside Tau. Um, and that's why this here is uh, a good switch. Now, when it comes down to you, um, if you want to migrate over, if you already have a WordPress blog, okay, if you want to keep using it, Keep using it. It's totally fine. You, you don't have to switch over. Don't feel pressured, okay? If you're happy paying this here per month, go for it because, you know, you do have more options. Uh, but if you want to move over to System, there's one thing you have to be aware of. Their permalink structure is different because they haven't got that much um, advanced features and so on, okay? And what, what I mean is this here. If I go here, settings here, here, see this, this here, URL, this here. This is a permalink. This is the link up here that you share. They haven't got the ability to do like sort of multiple layered permalinks. So if you have, for example, a pillar page on a blog that is something, 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 forward slash, something, 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 you can't have the same permalink structure. And that means that if you want to migrate over to System, you have to put in 301 redirects. And here's what we do, guys. I can't give you advice on this here, uh, like on a one-to-one -one basis, because there are, there, are, there are way too many of you guys, and all SEO stuff, it depends on what you've done before, it depends on what you're doing right now, it depends on a few things. But here's the kind of the baseline of what I would do. I would switch my hosting to a monthly plan, okay? Not the annual plan, the monthly plan, if, if, you, if your re re renewal is coming up. Uh, Thrive, you can cancel. Uh, get response you can cancel and so, so you save like 120 bucks a month right there and you keep your WordPress hosting 
and inside your WordPress dashboard here, you put in you you install you search go to the plugin section, uh, go to plugins here uh, here and search for a, for a redirect plugin. There are lots of free ones, and you can go and redirect all your posts and pages to your system account. Uh, but you have to go inside here first and create the recreate those. And all you do is copy and paste over the content exactly as it is. And you redirect your domain name and you redirect all your page and post to the same URL but on system. Okay. And that means uh, usually within sort of six months or so, you can then go and delete your WordPress hosting and that should be that. Basically, what this does is think of it as giving like a permanent uh, uh, move of address for your home. Okay. Imagine if you phone the post office and say, hey, I've moved permanently. Please forward all my mail to this new address. Okay, but it takes six months or so, maybe maybe even a year, uh, for Google to crawl and in re-index your site. And um, this is why I can't really give advice because it takes so long uh, to wait for that to actually happen to re-index everything for you. Okay, and this allows you to basically create a new permalink structure inside System, and you can redirect all your old posts and pages to System and move forward from there. Okay, uh, the one thing I really like about System is the fact that it's really, really fast. Okay, fast, fast loading, and so there's no plugins, there's no bullshit, there's nothing there. Um, and it means that your page speed is laser fast. Uh, their support is good as well. And also, one killer point here: if I open up my uh, my uh, keyword research tool, and if I plug in uh, System here, right here, like so, you can see they are ranking for a whole host of keywords. Okay, now obviously, uh, if I just find the keywords here and uh, go to all keywords. Now, obviously, they're going to rank for system, right? That's like, well, duh, obviously. Uh, but if I come in here and I actually go and remove here, so if I remove uh, system.io, uh, system, uh, system.io, okay, and I'm going to apply here, you'll see they're ranking for lots and lots and lots and lots of keywords here that have nothing to do with system, okay? So things like, um, uh, see, here, uh, let's see. I'll need to add more, more, one more keyword here to exclude. Uh, okay, that one. Okay, so if I scroll down here, you can see if I change it by position here, so you can see the best rankings. Okay, now obviously these numbers are estimates, right? So but you can see here, um, here you can see all the different reviews they're ranking for. And you can see the positions here and the, the, the keywords here. So you can see, if you just you know, pause the video, free funnel builder, um, free marketing funnels, what is a funnel builder, uh, John Cristani net worth, um, uh, review, pricing, cheap funnel builder, Grant Cardone reviews, right, and so on, so on, so on. So you can see they're ranking for thousands and 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 thousands of keywords, okay? Now, when I go here, look, Tony Robbins uh, event prices or uh, affiliate tracking software, for example, here, blog, right? Squeeze page templates. If I actually go to this post here, you can see they're using their own blogging system. Look here, boom. They're using their own blogging system, right? What does that tell you? It's working. And if, I, if, you, go, if you go to a site called um, Built With, right? You can see what technology they're using. Okay, if I plug in uh, here as well, system, you can see they're using their own system. Right, they're actually using their own blogging system here. Boom, system. Okay, they're using their own system. So they're using their own tool to rank their own content. Okay, and that's a very, very that's a very good sign. Okay, so that's why for me, uh, system has limitations. Okay, it it definitely does. Okay, uh, because it is not it's not designed specifically for blogging. It's a funnel builder, but the blog has all the features you need. It's very very primitive, but you don't need any more. And, and uh, the proof is here, right? Look at all these keywords they're ranking for. Many of which, look, they're actually you know build websites in minutes. That's a very very, a very competitive keywords, and they're ranking for it. Okay, and you can see here as well. If I keep going through here, you can see thousands of keywords, thousands of keywords, right? Seventy one thousand keywords. That's just in the US. Okay, so they are ranking, and that proves that their platform works. Otherwise, they wouldn't rank. Okay, it's that simple. Um, and so, so that's why I'm going for it. So when it comes to system versus WordPress, okay, there is no magic sauce. WordPress is great. Okay, it powers like a, a quarter of the entire internet. Okay, but it has all these other limitations here. Uh, sort of pain in the ass, faffing around. And there's more to it. With system, it's just a simple plug and play. One thing, one login, it's all there. It's just simple. And it means that for you as a beginner marketer, you can just get, get going, okay? Uh, because unfortunately, uh, I've seen thousands of students now just simply quit because of the cost, 
because of the confusion, because they can't figure out what's the difference between logging in between WordPress, my admin, and logging to SiteGround, because they get confused, right? Um, and also, one big thing here, which I haven't had actually, one major pain in the ass, okay, is support tickets, right? Because what happens when something goes wrong? You email Thrive and say, hey guys, uh, I've got this bug here. You have to, if for some reason, Thrive support now is very slow. You have to like over a day to get a response. And they come back to you and say, no, it's not, not our fault. You have to contact uh, SiteGround. And you go, oh. you go to SiteGround. Hi, SiteGround. I've got this bug on my page here. What's what's going on? It's not working. They say, no, 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 no. That, that's not our problem. That's that's Thrive. You go back to Thrive and you go, okay, Thrive, sorry, but SiteGround says it's not my, it's not nothing to do with the, the, that, their side of things. It's about the plugin. And you have to wait until 24 hours. That kills progress because people get bogged down in stupid support tickets, right? And most of the time, it's like the answer is, oh, clear your cash, right? But by that point, you've wasted two, three days and you feel trapped, you feel stuck, right? Um, and so basically, these are the reasons why I've, um, I've taken the, the, the taken the plunge here and moved over to, to system, okay? Now, personally, I'm, I'm still using WordPress for certain things because um, I've got, you know, if you, if you have like a big, 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 big site, then don't, yeah, stay on WordPress because it's going to be too much of a hassle for you to move over. But if you have a website with like less than 20 posts, then yeah, it could be worth you moving. Also, guys, consider this. If you have no traffic, right, and you're brand new and your content, yeah, your content isn't great, your content is you're still noobish, then moving over now will save you money, save you time, and save you energy in the long haul. Okay, uh, and so yeah, that's really it, guys. Uh, but you know, uh, don't d don't abandon WordPress just because. Don't go with system just because. Do what what do what's best for you. Okay, do what's simplest for you and move forward. Uh, because I'll still use WordPress and system because I have different sites and so on. And yeah. I'll, I'll use both because System has its own limitations and so does WordPress. But for the simplicity, System wins and the price definitely. And for the less noise and so on. And also, just a simple fact here um, for example, here with video hosting, right? If you have videos, you can host it on System images as well. Um, and so, again, you know, the video hosting for like uh, Vimeo, that's not another sort of two or three hundred bucks a year, right? So it's just like every corner you turn, they, they've, done, they've done a really good job of making things streamlined and slimlined, minimalistic, MVP style and cheap. And that's why I quite like it.